So one of the things I hear a lot about is inset. Why does inset get slow? How do I run into issues with inset? And more importantly, how do I get past issues with inset? Well, the most important thing to keep in mind is that whenever you're using purple box, it does make a duplicate of the mesh and then solidifies it and then booleans it into the original mesh. So I've tabbed into edit mode and beveled this edge to just add a little bit of complexity. You know, we can also do the same to the back, just bevel that. And if we draw a box and we press I, we see that we're not able to get the most flexibility out of it. However, we are, of course, able to perform the inset operation. And that is, of course, the goal. But you do see that there's certain values in which things just don't work. So what I'm going to do is actually right click and cancel. And we're just going to draw a very small box right there. And we're going to go back in and draw a box. But we're going to press I to change to inset. And we're just going to press T. And we see that you know inset is still working. However, I could have sworn I saw a little bit of that area over there biting in, but maybe we have to actually move it over in order to see the inset plays off of the mesh that you give it. And this can result in some rather unsatisfactory um, inset activity happening. So let's shift this to live. And the easiest way for us to break this down is to press Q and just go through mod scroll, uh, which involves a shift clicking this. So we could just roll the wheel, we see the first thing that happens is they solidify, which results in the mesh looking like this, which basically already breaks Boolean rules because this mesh is overlapping and is no longer manifold. If we roll the wheel again, we see that an intersect Boolean is performed on the solidification, which actually frees us of the burden of having to deal with that. But in a way, this is a rather rough inset. So let's right click cancel. We'll select both of these and delete it. Let's also bring back this shape and we'll also delete that. And so what I want to do next is put a bunch of loop cuts in here. This is another case that can cause some confusion with the way the inset works. And I get a lot of people writing about, you know, why do I have issues with inset? Why is it slow? And it's because of the way that it works. It's important that users understand that when you use purple box, it is duplicating and solidifying your original mesh and then making it fit inside the boundary that you drew. And that's basically how all insets work in Blender at this time. So I'm going to draw another box, tab. You know, we'll just drag this dot to bevel it, press I to change to inset. Now we see another type of issue happening with inset. And we could press T and adjust the thickness, and we see that there's certain values that just won't work anymore because of the limitations of what we're facing. Of course, we have multiple Boolean algorithms now, so we could you know, attempt to play with those settings. Let's do that. So we'll press Q, go under Solidify. Uh, Solidify has the option of pressing 4 for something called non-manifold extrude. And we see that that's just not going to work for this. So that's not an option. We also have the option of uh, going to the Boolean sub-panel and changing this to use the exact solver. And that should, you know, basically allow us to be more precise and allow it to work without as much uh, overhead. But we see that that's also not helping. In fact, if we shift click on mod scroll to begin scrolling through our process, we can see that this is our base shape. This is what is solidified to, which the solidification appears to not work out with the amount of geometric density that's being provided. So we scroll again and we see that it's being sliced out and this is what we're giving, but we still have this area where it's overshot. So you and the audience, what feature will take care of this? Well, time's up. The answer is clean mesh. If we were to clean the mesh, we see that this mesh has been taken down to its bare essentials, the nittiest of grittiest. And that means that now we can press T, go into solidify, and things are able to behave to an extent, of course. There's limitations to inset, which is just one of those things. I wish computationally we could detect the limit and just not allow users to get all the way there. But it's so random and variable that there are a large degree of things that must be taken into consideration with inset. But after you understand the rules and the foundations of how it's made, hopefully that should give a little bit of insight as far as how you can get the best out of using this. So here I am trying to inset this area that we just successfully inset and we could accept defeat. In fact, suddenly I pause it and it gives me the result, how random. But let's try to actually catch it in a bad state like that one. So now we have this mesh. We can't even see it because it did not work out. We'll just press Q 
shift scroll and we see that this is what we're getting. We are getting this as our result. So it solidifies it. And you know, what solidify and dense geometry, if you have any experience with Blender, you know that those are recipes for disaster. And so it tries to do the intersect, but the intersect's not gonna work due to Boolean malfunctioning is happening. And so, you know, a lot of tools have been put in place to allow users to get in and troubleshoot and dissect this process. And I do aim to do more content talking about it in the future. But of course, the solution for this is we'll just click to leave it right here, just because, and we will just go to clean mesh. And so now that the mesh is clean, we can shift click on mod scroll toggle, which is on the way out and bring back our final result and now we can select this and actually press T and adjust the solidification. And of course, there's always going to be limits to this. There is no perfect inset, of course, because the underlying systems are using things in Blender that are still in the process of being refined and worked on and improved. And our tool definitely aims to be more of a um, Boolean awareness type thing where uh, we want to highlight some of the shortcomings and strengths of booleans and optimize the ability to test and make them better. But I do look forward to you know what Blender has coming. Um, in fact, the exact system offers quite a new array of possibilities that we're just beginning to scratch the surface on. But I wanted to do a small segment talking about how you can get the most out of inset, how you can control it better, and just a little bit more about how inset works behind the scenes.